Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about the hangover, cures and prevention. So let's get right into it. Alcohol sales in the United States is approximately $546 billion per year. So there's a lot of alcohol being sold. Average person can metabolize approximately one drink per hour. Now this is dependent on the patient's size, uh, it could also be dependent on genetics, it can also be dependent on the alcohol level of each drink, but in general about one drink per hour. Carbonated alcohol tends to increase the absorption, so um, when you drink a lot of fizzy drinks it can increase alcohol um, toxicity. Congeners or dark alcohol like whiskey has more chemical additives. It's better to drink clear alcohol like gin and tonic or gin. Alcohol needs to be broken down to acetaldehyde and you use alcohol dehydrogenase which is an enzyme that breaks down alcohol, right? Acetaldehyde is 10 to 30 times more toxic than just alcohol itself. So we need to clear this out very quickly in order to prevent the hangover. Now, an enzyme called uh, aldehyde dehydrogenase is what does it. But utilizing glutathione right in this area will help to detoxify acetaldehyde to acetate and will clear out of our system much more quickly. So it's important to have proper glutathione levels in our system in order to detox uh, alcohol. So, cures and prevention. Number one cure, don't drink, right? Uh, the number one way to prevent hangovers is not to drink. But, uh, let's be realistic. Before and after drinking alcohol, eat fatty foods and foods that are high in cysteine, like meats, fish, eggs, okay? Uh, foods high in cysteine will help uh, create glutathione. So glutathione is what's important for detoxification processes. Drink 20 ounces of water before you go out to drink and one cup of water for every drink that you have. And then when you get home, drink 16 ounces of water before going to bed. Now, if you're completely drunk and you're doing this, you might actually urinate in your bed, so be careful, right? Now, there is a Korean pear you, there's a drink that you can make out of it. It's called the Korean pear drink. The name is called Shingo Bear. And they've done small studies where it shows that it, it decreases symptoms between 16 and 21% 15 hours post drinking. Okay, So there is a drink you can utilize. And then B vitamins are important, especially B1. But all the B vitamins, especially the methylated forms, are important for detoxification. You can use NAC or N-acetylcysteine, 1,000 milligrams before and after you drink. Liposomal glutathione, you can use 500 milligrams before and after. And then you can utilize curcumin, 500 milligrams before and after, and milk thistle, which is very important for liver detoxification and liver injury, 500 milligrams before and after you drink. So utilizing this protocol can prevent you from having a miserable day following a night of drinking. It's important to do this. Another thing you can do with foods is that you can have like bone broth the following morning. Bone broth with maybe actual like beef or, or, or a chicken or like a chicken noodle with the bones in it that, that's cooked. And that will help remineralize your system. And in certain countries like Korea, they actually have what they call the hangover soup, which is basically a hot spicy uh, beef um, stew type um, soup with a lot of spices in it uh, and helps kind of soothe the stomach. So there are a lot of different methods. I'd like to know if you have a method that can prevent hangovers, and that would be great if you can link it uh, or share it below in the comment area. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, we're at Clinical Excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.